ceremonies, festivals, events happening here in the city. Traditional year after year people gather for this parade. It's something really to look forward to right here in Brooklyn, but all over the region. There's so much happening. You don't have to go too far to enjoy the unofficial end to summer. Certainly it doesn't feel like summer at this hour. It's a little chilly out here right now, but we know when that sun comes up and it heats up a little bit, it's really going to be a beautiful weekend all around so you can soak in and savor up any bit of summer that you want to before Labor Day on Monday. And then that's when even more fun kicks off. We'll tell you more about the West Indian Day Parade. That is happening on Sunday. It's part of a tradition here in the city, gathering millions of people from around the city. They're going to enjoy. They're going to be a part of all the customs of the costumes and the food and the lights and the culture. It's just a really great way for people to immerse themselves in Caribbean culture. Really, since the early 20th century, under the guidance of the West Indian American Day Carnival Association, this parade has brought so many people together across the city. Now, other ways to celebrate a staycation? Well, there's the Met Opera Summer Festival, watching the U.S. Open on the big screens at Hudson Yards, plus a big music festival. The Electric Zoo is this weekend on Randall's Island. Or perhaps a little surf and sand is on your agenda. You can always find the spirit of summer at Coney Island, especially tonight for those fireworks. From the boardwalk food to the legendary rides and of course, the seemingly endless ocean and sand. My favorite thing is just being here and meeting great people. I meet all kinds of people, wonderful people. Our best days are ahead of us. And because we're a family business, we do a thing because we believe in it, not because we're trying to please some CEO we've never met. You know, we're not too big to fail here. We're too stubborn to quit. So if you are getting around from the boroughs, you want to keep in mind there's going to be plenty of service changes across multiple subway lines. Make sure you take a look before you head out the door over the weekend. Stats from the MTA are another indicator that people are returning to the city because ridership is up on the subway and buses. It's been holding around 58% weekday. The weekends have bounced back stronger both in transit and on the roadways. And get this, experts do predict travel numbers this weekend will still be high into those pre-pandemic records. According to Adobe Analytics, uh, travel spending is up 17% compared with 20